let's consider a few more questions. This time about the so-called zone of peak experience or peak performance. When deeply in love, what's your experience of time or timelessness? In deep meditation, what's your experience of time? When doing your best work, what's your experience of time? About 70% of people say there's timelessness. 30% say time goes fast, but without friction or lack of control. Here are some quotes from athletes and meditation teachers about the experience of time during peak experiences. There is a common experience in Tai Chi, awareness of the passage of time completely stops. From football player John Brody, time seems to slow way down, as if I had all the time in the world, and yet I know the defensive line is coming at me just as fast as ever. from baseball player Tom Seaver. As Rod Gaspar's front foot stretched out and touched home plate in the fraction of a second before I leaped out of the dugout, my whole baseball life flashed in front of me. Note that conventional time management workshops don't usually discuss these peak experiences. Here are some quotes about the experience of identity during peak experience. Auto racer Jimmy Clark said, the car happens to be under me and I'm controlling it, but it's as much a part of me as I am of it. Another quote, when judo is practiced properly, you will become one with him. You and your opponent will no longer be two bodies separated physically from each other, but a single entity. This diagram is from my book, Results in No Time. At least from the few quotes we looked at, it's probably clear that peak experiences are quite different from our ordinary experiences. To summarize the research I've done on peak performance and the zone, I've drawn a number of dimensions in this circle, including number 11, representing time and timelessness. The zone of peak performance is represented by various valued qualities of experience at the center of this diagram. Our ordinary Western experience is depicted on the periphery. Ordinary experience is the range of experience that conventional time management presumes. Despite the small font, you might be able to see that dimension 11 shows timelessness as an aspect of the zone, whereas linear time appears on the periphery. Dimension 6 on identity shows self on the periphery compared to ownerless happening and knowing in the center. The circle diagram on the previous slide focuses on how best to experience, independent of what we do. It applies to anything we do. It attempts to present the essence of peak performance, not just best practices that are limited to specific industries and not just character traits that are not truly characteristic of peak experience. Focusing on the way we do things seems to be the most essential key to self-actualization and improving our performance. 
according to Maslow, self-actualization means experiencing fully, vividly, selflessly, with full concentration and total absorption. So self-actualization is complete involvement in what is at hand. Then in terms of the circle diagram of the zone, we might say that mastery in life is like moving from the periphery to the center of the circle, increasing involvement whenever we can. We might define continuous improvement as increasing involvement, moving toward the center whenever possible.